Hi, I'm Carl Taylor. Hello everyone, I'm Urs Reichel. And we're here to do another how-to, and we are out in the lovely countryside of Switzerland with our lovely model Zoe waiting in the field there for us. Look at this thing. This is amazing. Fantastic. What yeah. is it? What is it? It's a Cirrus L800. And what does Cirrus L mean? L means location or lithium, yes, whatever. Yes, exactly. Lithium on location. And Cirrus L, which as you said, location, lithium, means we can work without electricity. Well, you said. Well, we have electricity. We have a battery with us. Yes. Very small battery, but lots Very of power small, in it. Very small, a lot of power. We How many a... flashes do I get out of that? On the 800 joules, we have 220 flashes at full power. At full power. And at the 400 joules, we have double. So 440 flashes from one single battery at full power. Wow, this is awesome. This thing is amazing. We've got it put in a Para 88 here. Now, this is only part of the story. We are going to do a shot here with the standard RFS uh, 2.1 trigger. Yep. And this would restrict us to shooting at the sync speed of this camera, which is 200th of a second. Now, 200th of a second in this light means I'm gonna to have to shoot at F11, which is gonna be a lot of depth of field. All this is gonna be sharp. But look at this. Another brand new thing. <laughs> Another new toy. This is? This is the brand new brown color RFS 2.2 for Canon. Yep. There's one for Nikon. Yep. And it enables to shoot or allows you to shoot at shorter sync speed. So it's actually a high speed sync trigger. Right. So I can get my Canon camera here. Instead of syncing at 200th of a second, I can now crank it right up to 4,000, 6,000, 8,000 of a second. All the way, yeah. Allowing me to get my aperture wide open and still flash. And still flash. Incredible. Let's put it to the test. Okay. Okay, so first I'm gonna shoot the standard trigger with the normal sync speed okay. of the camera. So we can compare the results. And we results can compare the, the shots. Okay, Sounds let's good. go for it. All right. So let's turn the power around. And we're gonna direct the power straight onto our model. So she's backlit by the sun. Uh, what position is the power on? It's uh, in a sort of mid position, mid focus okay, position. Yeah, good. Um, and it's focused to hit our model directly, upper body. Just gonna put my camera into position. So I'm shooting at 1 60th of a second at F11. And I'm gonna do a shot first of all without the trigger so that you can see the effect of the model just silhouetted in this backlit sun. There we go. So there's our exposure without the flash. So now I'm gonna do the shot with the flash on so we can see the difference. Now we've yes. got the flash firing and here we've got a massive amount of depth of field in the shot, uh, which is not the look and the style that I wanna go for. So I am now gonna to switch to the lovely HS trigger and that's gonna allow me to crank my shutter speed right down to whatever I want really, uh, 4 thousandth, 8 thousandth, and I'm gonna open my aperture up now, right up to 1.4 to get this really lovely shallow depth of field. Uh, I'm gonna just try at about 5 thousandth of a second to start with. Actually, you know, you know what? Let's do it without the trigger first. Okay. Just to, actually I can turn it off, can I? Yeah, yeah it's you off. can, okay. yeah, easily. So I'm just gonna do the exposure first of all to see what we need on our model just for the daylight and the ambient. So that's coming in at around about one uh, six thousand four hundredth. Let me just do that again. Yes, that's nice. But she is in the shadow, but we have this lovely depth of field. I can actually get that to eight thousandth of a second. Let's do it eight thousandth just to prove, prove a point. There Not we go. Yet. Eight thousandth is great. Now we're gonna put the high speed flash trigger on. This is gonna sync with this light. It's gonna allow me to shoot uh, at this really fast shutter speed in this beautiful light. And now because of this, I'm gonna get this shallow depth of field. Now just move this hand around only. That's it, good. Okay, just relax for a second. Let me just review some of these. So we now have a very shallow depth of field, beautiful backlit sun. Lots of lovely light, little bit of flare coming in there, works really nicely with the shot, but it looks completely natural with the amount of fill-in flash that we're putting into the shot um, with this high speed function and this amazing shallow depth of field that we get with this uh, shooting 
with the fast shutter speed allowing us to get that aperture fully, fully open there. So very pleased with uh, the result. You can see the difference there without the flash and then introducing the flash. And obviously we can adjust the power of the flash. So we can adjust the power of the flash less, more, whatever we want. Um, we've, we've got the ability to do that. And we're outdoors with no electricity other than this lithium battery. This is so much fun. I'm gonna shoot a few more. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Go. Beautiful. Lovely. So I'm kind of working the flare and the flash together here. So normally we want to try and avoid flare, but here we're getting a nice effect just from the flare. Okay, so we've got some really nice results there, Zoe. I think so. Fantastic job, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you, we are actually <laughs> recording this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So some great results here. I'm really, really happy with this. This is beautiful with the yep. flashlight filling in there. Fantastic. Great. Right, so we're all packed up. I yes. think it's uh, maybe time just to get a quick drink. Okay, yeah. In. <laughs> Very good idea, yes, I think so. Right, so, so look, you see how small it all packs up as well. It's fantastic. Let's just zip this up. Yep. Um, can I ask you to carry that for me? Thank you very much. I'm gonna take the Cirrus light and the stand, and that's it. That's it, let's huh? go. 